Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romani. Welcome back to this YouTube channel on narcissism, narcissistic relationships, and how to heal from these relationships. So I'm going to put you in the seat. You, you, can, you can be the uh, narcissism expert for a minute. I want you to think of somebody who wants to keep maintaining an, a relationship with a narcissistic person in her life, like many of us, like me, like all of you. But how does she talk to this person about their narcissistic personality? You know, drop it in the comments. But I want you to think about how you would advise someone in your life that was experiencing this. Okay, to review that. So there's a person out there. They want to maintain a relationship with a narcissistic person in her life, in her life because the, that person is important to her. And she wants to help that person see their personality. What can she do? What is the best way? to introduce the idea of narcissism to a narcissistic person who doesn't know they're narcissistic yet. It's tricky, right? So at a minimum, you got to remember this. You really cannot successfully call a narcissistic person out straight. Some of you believe that if this person recognizes that this is their personality style and could clearly see the damage that they have wrought, and then they can connect the dots. Maybe there's hope. Hmm. I guess it de depends on your definition of hope. For some of you, you might be okay if just the narcissistic person could dial down on their rage. Or for some of you, that if they would simply acknowledge the harm that they've done. For others of you, you could be okay if they just be aware that they just don't have empathy even though they think they do. Part of the hope is knowing what your own personal end game is with this person. And in this case, the person who wrote this question, she wanted the narcissistic anger to end. Remember, narcissistic people actually don't love what their anger makes them look like. They don't like, it's not a good brand to be looking unhinged and messy out, out there. They don't like that. And they kind of hope that after they have one of their tantrums that people will forget about it or will, or will provide a justification or hope you'll justify it for them. I know that there are some of you who may say, eh, it's not ideal and I wish they were empathic, but I'm willing to go with less anger and I can work with that. I was talking with an old friend who was telling me about someone she used to know and who ended up connecting the dots for themselves, okay? The person who was actually no longer in her life reached out after a long time and they were actually pretty clear how their personality stuff, or at least some of their behavior, messed everything up. Now, my friend said to me, she's like, yeah, I'm kind of happy that this person figured it out, but it doesn't change my story. It didn't change my experience. I was still hurt. Now, sadly, in the vast majority of cases, a narcissistic person typically has to hit rock bottom, lose really important stuff in their life before they're actually willing to critically look at how the puzzle pieces may actually connect and how their behavior may have affected other people. The tough part of that is that you just explaining stuff to them is probably not going to be enough. It may literally require your relationship with them ending or at least going on a long hiatus or other things you don't control, like them losing other relationships or losing their job has to happen or losing a lot of money. It takes that. And even in the face of that, not all people with these personality styles get it. If you really are still wanting to gradually introduce this idea to them, that mm -hmm, there's this thing called narcissism, I guess there's a few things you could try, Maybe you watch a movie together that has a really narcissistic character and see if they connect the dots around that. I don't know if that's going to work, but it's worth a shot. Tell them about someone you both care about who may be enduring a narcissistic relationship and call it by its name there and see how they weigh in. The challenge, even for us as therapists, is that we cannot come in too fast with suggestions or insights. It's a gradual, gradual process where the narcissistic person has to be the one who believes they came up with the insight and not that someone else was the one who's sort of explaining all of this to them. It is challenging as hell because you may actually have a compassionate view 
of their narcissism. You may understand where it came from. You may understand how it shows up in them. You may understand why they get angry. But even if you understand all of that, you may not be able to bear up under it anymore. There is no compassionate way to walk in through that door and share it with them. Obviously, you know, I'm always that idea of, of the tight. I'm a proponent of that thing called the tiger's cage, as long as it's not a relationship characterized by violence or danger, but that you walk in, you say your piece and you see what comes back at you. And just make sure you have your therapist on speed dial afterwards. In some cases, when you go in the tiger's cage, you might be pleasantly surprised. And in a small percentage of cases, the narcissistic person may actually be ready to hear some of it. But life isn't a Hallmark movie, and it's not going to be a quick insight in big hugs, especially in the absence of a rock bottom. Even in therapy, bringing someone into awareness of their narcissistic personality is tricky business. If you are close to it, it is not easy. You may even do better to focus on what is bothering you about their behavior, how it affects you, and then setting a real boundary in response to it. They may call your bluff, throw out some contemptuous zingers, but ultimately you are speaking your truth and not analyzing their personality, which I think is a safer way to go. Anytime we communicate about how we feel about someone's behavior, our best approach is to stay focused on ourselves, how we feel. They may not care, but that's the only thing you can say with 100% certainty. It's the only truth we can hold on to. The key at those times is to not let yourself be gaslighted and acknowledge that if you do want to keep a relationship with a narcissistic person afloat and try to make it a little bit easier, like this person was asking, it's tiny baby steps. Patience and a constant reminder to yourself that their toxic behavior is about them and not you. I know that a lot of you struggle with this particular issue. In the absence of the rock bottom, I don't really see an easy path forward. Thanks again.